The Chief Election Commissioner heads the Election Commission of India, a body constitutionally empowered to conduct free and fair elections to the national and state legislatures and of President and Vice President. Chief Election Commissioner of India is usually a member of the Indian Civil Service and mostly from the Indian Administrative Service. It is very difficult to remove the authority of the Chief Election Commissioner once appointed by the President, as two-thirds of the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha need to vote against him for disorderly conduct or improper actions. Despite the recent changes in the hierarchy, the system always had powers to impose unambiguous rules and guidelines that applied across the entire nation e.g. as to how the ballots will be cast and counted, what will be regarded as unqualified vote. India was probably one of the first countries in the world to go for a completely electronic ballot in the last elections. What made this remarkable was that the Election Commission of India had successfully implemented this across the entire diverse Indian population that also consisted of the rural illiterate people. While the office has always been an important one in the machinery of the Indian political process, it gained significant public attention during the tenure of TN. Session, from 1990 to 1996. Session is widely credited with undertaking a zealous effort to end corruption and manipulation in Indian elections. Though he made significant progress, several politicians attempted to derail these efforts. In particular, the expansion of the election commission to include the two election commissioners in addition to the chief commissioner was seen as a move to curtail the commissioner's ability to act aggressively. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Suggested reforms. In June 2012, Lal Krishna Advani, a veteran Indian politician and former Deputy Prime Minister of India as well as former leader of the opposition in Indian Parliament, suggested that appointment of CEC as well as the Controller and Auditor General of India CAG should be made by a bipartisan collegium consisting of the Prime Minister, the Chief Justice, the Law Minister and the leaders of the opposition in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. Subsequently, M. Karanadi, the head of Dravida Munnetra Kazhagam DMK party and five times chief minister of Tamil Nadu supported the suggestion. Advani made this demand to remove any impression of bias or lack of transparency and fairness because, according to him, the current system was open to manipulation and partisanship. Similar demand was made by many former CECs such as B.B. Tandon, N. Gopalaswamy and S.Y. Qureshi. Compensation By the Election Commission Condition of Service of Election Commissions and Transaction of Business Act, 1991, the salary of the Chief Election Commissioner is the same as salary of a Judge of Supreme Court of India. <laughs> List of Chief Election Commissioners The following have held the post of the Chief Election Commissioner of India. <laughs>